our gracious and eternal heavenly Father. Baba yetu mwingi wa neema wa milele. Great of heaven and earth and giver of every good gift. Mwimbaji wa mbingu na nchi na mtoaji wa kila kipawa kilicho chema. We are so grateful to be assembled a Lord in your divine presence. Tunafuraha kukusanyika tena katika uwepo wako wa kiungu. Oh God we look forward. Baba Mungu sisi tunatazamia to hear from thee. Kukusikia kukusikia wewe. Brother Lord we 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 know Lord if the Holy Ghost is present. Baba tunajua kwamba kama Roho Mtakatifu yuko pamoja nasi. Our burdens will be lifted. Mizigo yetu itatuliwa. We will be drawn closer to you. Tutavutwa karibu zaidi na wewe. We will be liberated from all sin and shame. Tutaondolewa kwenye kila dhambi na aibu. The prayer of my heart this morning is dear God. Niombi langu katika moyo wangu asubuhi baba mpenzi. Just come. Kwamba wewe utashuka tu. Move from heart to heart. Na utembee kutoka moyo mmoja kwenda mwingine. Move from seat to seat. Uame kiti kimoja kwenda kingine. Song writer says pass me not a gentle savior. Ndivyo mwimbaji akasema usinipite mokozi e wangu. Hear my humble cry. Naomba usikie kilio changu cha kinyenyekevu. While on others thou art calling. Wakati unaendelea kuwaita wengine, do not pass me. Kamwe naomba usiniruke. Father will you come and bless the reading of your word? Baba uje na ubariki usomaji wa neno lako. Father the prophet of God says no service is complete without the reading of God's word. Baba nabii wa Mungu amesema hakuna ibada iliyo kamili bila kusoma neno. My words will fail. Maneno yangu yatashindwa. My words will disappoint. Maneno yangu yatashusha moyo watu. My words are not trustworthy. Maneno yangu huwezi kuyategemea. But your words Lakini maneno yako baba. Come this morning O God. Njo ushuke asubuhi hii. Hi hide me behind the old rugged cross na unifiche mimi nyuma ya msalaba wako ambao sio mlaini let the people not see me watu wasinione mimi but let them see jesus hebu na wamuone yesu kristo and him crucified na yeye aliyesulubishwa father we pray baba tunaomba as we commit this meeting into your hands tunavyokabidhi mkutano huu mikononi mwako will you come and get the glory for yourself tunaomba uje ujitolie utukufu wote If there's any sick and afflicted, kama kuna mwenye anayeteswa na kwa kama kuna mgonjwa, touch them dear Lord. Uwaguse baba mpenzi. If there's any person Lord God that don't know you as Kama yupo mtu mmoja ambaye hakufahamu kama personal savior. Mokozi binafsi wa kila mtu. Meet with them Lord. Kutana nao asubuhi leo. Father we commit everything into your care. Baba tunakabidhi kila kitu chini ya uangalizi wako. In Jesus wonderful name we pray. Kwa jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo la ajabu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amina. I wonder can we give the Lord a, a wave offering? Na sijui kama tunaweza tukampa Mungu sadaka ya kupunga Let's mkono. Hii ni sadaka ya kupunga mkono. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Nibarikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Hallelujah. It's such a wonderful time with the Lord this morning. Na ni wakati mzuri sana kuwa na Bwana asubuhi hii. I was up around about just after 3 4 o'clock nami nilikuwa nimeamka kabla ya saa 9 saa 10 hivi and i've learned brother benham says nami nimejifunza ndugu brana mwanasema always follow the leading of the holy spirit wakati wote fuata uongozi wa roho mtakatifu amen amen you may think this is the way to unaweza kufikiri labda nitembee njia hii But the Holy Spirit might direct you in another way lakini roho mtakatifu anaweza akakuongoza njia tofauti hallelujah hallelujah and brother sisters na ndugu dada as a minister kama muhuduma amen amen the important thing is jambo la msingi na muhimu ni preach on what is needful hubiri kinachohitajika not on what the people would like to hear usihubiri kitu ambacho watu watafurahia kusikia amen amen so i trust that that what we are about to share this morning Hivyo nategemea na ninaamini kwamba ambacho tunakaribia kushirikiana asubuhi hii it may be simple kinaweza kaonekana ni kirahisi sana but it may be neat lakini inawezekana ndicho kinachohitajika just want to get to where i want to be and then we'll be ready na nataka tu tuwe hivyo ili kwamba mioyo yetu iwe tayari I think we can stand for a reading of the word. Nafikiri tunaweza tukasimama ili tuweze kusoma neno. I wonder can we sing that little chorus only believe only believe. Vipi kama tutaimba ule wimbo mdogo amini tu amini tu mambo yote yanawezekana. Amini tu Amen. Yes, Lord. 
And we want to read the first 13 verses. Ndaka kusoma vifungu 13 vya kwanza. Bible says then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened in other words compared unto 10 virgins. Na Biblia inasema ufalme wa mbinguni hapo umefananishwa kwa maneno mengine mlinganishwa na wanawali 10 which took their lambs and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Waliotoa taa zao wakatoka kwenda kumlaki bwana harusi. And five of them Na watano wao were wise. Walikuwa eh, eh, wenye busara. And five of them were foolish. Na watano wao walikuwa ni wapumbavu. They that were foolish took their lambs and took no oil with them. Wale waliokuwa wapumbavu walizitoa taa zao wasitoe mafuta pamoja nao. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lambs. Bali wale wenye busara walitoa mafuta katika vyombo vyao pamoja na taa zao. While the bridegroom tarried, hata bwana harusi alipokawia, they all slumbered and slept. Wote wakasinzia na kulala usingizi. Verse 6. Stadi wa 6. And at midnight, lakini usiku wa manane, there was a cry made. Palikuwa na kelele. Behold the bridegroom cometh. Tazameni bwana harusi amekuja. Go we out to meet him. Twendeni tukamlaki. Then all those virgins arose, all ten of them. Mara wakaondoka wale wanawali wote walikuwa kumi. And trimmed the lambs. Wakazitengeneza taa zao. And the foolish said unto the wise. Na wale wapumbavu wakawambia wenye busara. Give us of your oil. 
Tupeni mafuta yenu kidogo. For our lambs were gone out. Maana taa zetu zinazimika. But the wise answered saying, Lakini wenye busara wakawajibu wakisema, Not so. Sivyo. Lest there be not enough for us and you. Hayata tutosha sisi na nyinyi pia. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. Afadhali shikeni njia mwende kwa wauzao mkajinunulie. And while they went to buy the bridegroom came. Na walipoenda kununua bwana harusi akaja. And they that were ready. Na waliokuwa tayari went in with him to the marriage. Wakaingia naye harusini. And the door was shut. Mlango ukafungwa. Afterwards came the other virgins. Alafu wakaja na wale wanawali wengine. Lord Lord. Wakasema Bwana Bwana tufungulie. And he answered and said. Kajibu akasema. Verily I say unto you. Amini nawaambia. I know you not. Siwajui ninyi. Watch therefore. Kesheni basi. For he know neither the day nor the hour when sababu, the ham, son of man cometh. Hamujui siku wala saa ajayo mwana wa Adam. May the Lord add the riches of his blessings to the reading of his word. Mungu naongeze baraka kwenye usomaji wa hili neno lake. Amen. You Amen. may be seated. Mnaweza mkakaa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a little Sunday school lesson. Sasa hii ni somo tu la shule ya Jumapili ndogo. And uh, but I trust lakini nategemea that it would be of some help. Kwamba litakuwa la msaada sana. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I get started with my little thought this morning. Na kabla sijaanza na wazo langu asubuhi hii, I would like to read a little quotation. Ningependa niwasomeeni nukuu moja. Taken from the message. Iliyochukuliwa kwenye ujumbe. Possessing the gate of the enemy, the gate of the enemy. Kulimiliki lile lango la adui. Now listen to what Brother Benham says. Sikiza kile ambacho Brother Benham anasema. Anasema, God is true to his promise. Mungu ni mkweli kwenye ahadi yake. God is true, true to his promise. Mungu ni mwaminifu kwa ahadi zake. In other words if God says Yeah yeah. Can you hear me? Mnanisikia? Sounds as if there's nothing coming out. Anaomba muongezee sauti kidogo. Just a little bit more volume bro. I don't want to put my voice under Sauti yangu nataka nitunze isiharibike. But Ben says God is true to his promise. Dubrana mnasema Mungu ni mkweli kwa neno lake. Can you say amen to that? Unaweza ukasema amina kwa hilo? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is true to his promise. Mungu ni mkweli kwenye ahadi zake. He made a promise. Akikuahidi. That wheresoever two or three be gathered in his name. Aliahidi wawili watatu wakusanyikapo kwenye neno lake. He will be in their midst. Mimi nipo katikati yao. He made a promise. Aliahidi hivyo. And he keeps all Na anaitunza hiyo ahadi kila wakati. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. Sasikiliza hii. He says no matter what he has to do. Inasema haijalishi anabidi afanye kitu gani. If God made a promise Alishahidi he doesn't care whatever he has to do. Hajali kitu kingine anapaswa kufanya. To bring that promise into fulfillment. Ili ailete ahadi itimie. Brother Branham says. Dubrana anasema, he will bankrupt the heavens. Bora aifilisi mbingu before he will let his word go defeat. Kuliko kuliachia neno lake moja likashindwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will rather bankrupt the heavens. Ni bora aifilisi mbingu. But a promise that God made. Lakini ile ahadi ambayo Mungu amekwambia. It's a promise that God keeps. Ni ahadi ambayo Mungu lazima anaitimiza. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Amen. Amen. If God is the one making the promise. Na Mungu kama yeye ndiye anayekupa ahadi. Then God is responsible for making Basi, the promise come to pass. Mungu ndiye anayewajibika kuitimiza ahadi aliyokupa. To make it happen. Kuifanya itukie. Is God's responsible. Huo ni wajibu wa Mungu mwenyewe. Amen. Amen. I think it was brother Ronnie uh, Donny Regan who said. Na mimi ni ndugu Don Regan alikuwa anasema. I'm not worried. Mimi sina wasiwasi. Si, mimi sio tatizo langu. He says when you look around. Asema ukiangalia angalia kuna huko. Katika ujumbe unaona wa wahudumu wanafanya vitu vya ajabu. Unaona watu wanafanya vitu vya ajabu. In the message. Ndani ya ujumbe. He says but I Anasema, never made a promise. Akisema kini mimi nimepewa ahadi. God made a promise. Mungu aliniahidi that you will have a church without spot or wrinkle. Kama atakuwa na kanisa lisilokuwa na madoa. It's God's promise. Ni ahadi ya Mungu mwenyewe. 
sio yangu i'm not giving myself sleepless nights wala hata mimi mwenyewe sikuepo there will be a bride ni atakuepo bibi harusi a perfect bride bibi harusi msafi a bride without spot or bibi harusi asiye na doa wala kunyanzi god promises mungu ndiye aliyeahidi god is responsible mungu hivyo anawajibika god will ensure that there will be kuhakikisha kwamba bibi harusi msafi anakuja hallelujah hallelujah praise is wonderful ibarikiwe jina lake la ajabu if god is the source kama mungu ndiye alianzisha god is the one that yeye ndiye atakayeenda kuitimiliza. I just want to read another quotation. Nitaka nisome tu nukuu nyingine. Amen. Amen. And then we can get into our little thought. Ndipo tunaweza tukaliendea wazo letu dogo. Listen to this. Sikiliza hii. Believing God. Kumwamini Mungu. Ndugu anasema when a divine promise is made. <laughs> ahadi ya kiungu ukipewa. What is the divine promise? Sasa ahadi ya kiungu ni ipi? A promise that's not made by you and I. Ni ahadi ambayo haifanywi na wanadamu kama mimi na wewe. A divine promise means a God. Ahadi ya kiungu inamaanisha ni Mungu ndiye aliyeahidi. A promise made by God. Ahadi hiyo aidiwa na Mungu mwenyewe. He says when a divine promise is made. Anasema inapotolewa ahadi ya kiungu. He says God alone. Anasema Mungu mwenyewe. Is under oath yuko chini ya kiapo an obligation na wajibu to take care wa kuijali of any of his promises kuiwa ahadi yake aliyotoa hallelujah hallelujah god will take care of his promises mungu ndiye atakayejali ahadi aliyotoa i'm just thinking about mary mimi namwazia tu mariamu mary was living in which little town mariamu alikuwa katika mji wa israeli upi upi where was she living alikuwa anaishi mji gani Watu hao wasomi Biblia. Where was Mary living? Mary alikuwa anaishi mji gani? Mariam? Bruni Mazini out there. Let's see whether they Ah ndugu na uhakika. She was living in a little town called Nazareth. Aliishi katika mji mdogo unaoitwa Nazareth. But do you know what? Lakini unajua nini? There was a promise made. Kuna ahadi ilitolewa that the Christ child kwamba mtoto Kristo will be born atazaliwa in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. So if Jesus was born in Nazareth, sasa kama Yesu angezaliwa Nazareth, the promised word would have been broken. Ah neno la ahadi hilo lingekuwa limeshindwa. That's not what the Bible said. Hivyo ndio Biblia ilisema. The Bible said Bethlehem. Biblia inasema Bethlehem. You are you are the least. Wewe ndio kamji kadogo. Small little town. Kamji kadogo kuliko yote. Out of you. Lakini kutoka kwako. Will come for the Messiah. Atakuja Masia. Mary carried the Messiah. Ndipo Mariamu alimbeba Masia. Mary was living in Nazareth. Japo kwa alikuwa anaishi Nazareth. God made a promise. Mungu alitimiza ahadi. That the Christ child. Yule mtoto Kristo atazaliwa Bethlehem. God had to take care of his Mungu alibidi ashughulike na hiyo ahadi. You know what God did? Unajua nini Mungu alifanya? He turned the whole world upside down. Akapindua ulimwengu wote juu chini. The people were moving around. Watu wakaanza kutembea bila sana. Why because the government wakati huo serikali of the day ya ile siku made a law. Ikatengeneza sheria. They say all the people. Wakasema watu wote must go to there. Lazima warudi kwenye majiji yao ya asili. There to be text. Na hiyo ilipaswa iandikwe. The tax law. Ni sheria iliyoandikwa. Ambayo haiwezi kupingwa. Na sio ya ulimwengu wote. But to get Mary into Bethlehem. Lakini ilikuwa inamuhusu kurudi pale. God will bankrupt the heavens. Mungu yuko bora aifirishi mbingu. He will never let his promise. Kuliko kuiacha neno lake la ahadi lisitimie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People were moving. Watu wakaanza kuhama from Jerusalem. Wa mtu anatoka Jerusalem. Anaenda Judea. To Judea. Anaenda Judea. They were moving. Walikuwa wanahama, 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 wanahama. Unafanya nini ndugu? I'm going to my birthplace. Naenda sehemu yangu niliyozaliwa. To register for tax. Ili nikajisajili kwa ajili ya kusabiwa. Unaenda wapi? I am according to the law. Mimi ni sheria ndugu ni sheria. Lazima nirudi mjini mwangu. And there was pregnant Mary. Lakini Mariamu alikuwa mjamzito. On a little donkey. Na amepanda kapunda kadogo. Mary where you on, where you going to? Mariamu unaenda wapi? I'm going to my place of Narudi nilikozaliwa. God Mungu use the law alitumia sheria ya serikali Mary into Bethlehem ili amrudishe Mariamu Bethlehem Hallelujah Hallelujah God can do anything Mungu ana uwezo kufanya jambo lolote bankrupt the heavens Bora aifirishi mbingu lakini hata ruhusu hadi yake istimie Hallelujah Hallelujah Let's give the Lord a wave Hebu tumpasie Mungu mkono wa baraka Amen Why worry whether there will be a bride 
Na kwa nini una wasiwasi kwamba eti bibi harusi atakuwaje? Lazima awe mkamilifu. God is in control. Mungu ndiye anayeshughulika nalo. He got Mary into a certain Mbona alimrudisha Mariamu Bethlehem? You will get you into the Atakurudisha kwenye neno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And brother you don't have to worry. Na ndugu wala usiwe na wasiwasi. You will be perfect. Utakuwa mkamilifu. Brother Benham says say after me. Anasema, Brother Benham says say after me. Say after me. Anasema lusemeni kama ninavyosema. You. Wewe. Ah. Ni. The pure. M- pure. Msafi. Perfect. Mkamilifu. Right of the Lord. Bibi harusi wa Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. That's what you are. Wito ndicho ulicho. God said it. Ndiye Mungu aliyesema. So will it be. Hivyo ndivyo itakavyokuwa. Praise his wonderful name. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bwana Yesu abariki. I would like to speak on Ningependa nizungumze juu ya little Sunday school lesson. Ni somo la shule ya Jumapili. Amen. Amen. I would like to maybe I need to read my inspirational quotation first. Labda nisome nuku yangu ambayo inaniuhisha. There were two groups Yalikuwepo makundi mawili. Five wise and five foolish. Matano wenye busara na watano ambao ni wapumbavu. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we've read. Hao ndio walikuwepo pale. Are we together? Siko pamoja matakatifu. Yeah. Please don't lose me. I haven't even started. Jamani, nisitusianze kuachana hata sijaanza. Remember Brother Benham says when Kumbuka I say something, anasema, ninaposema kitu and you say amen. Na wewe ukitikia amina. It won't upset me. Ni Mungu amenituma. It will encourage. Hiyo itakumtia itakumtia moyo. Hallelujah. I can do with a little bit of encouragement. Naweza kufanya hiyo kunitia moyo kidogo. Say amen. Wewe sema amina. Amen not to me. Amina ni kwamba iwe kwangu. Amen the word. Amina neno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was in a church once. Siku moja nilikuwa kanisani. Over in South Africa. Kule Afrika Kusini. And the minister came up. Na mhuduma akaja. He never said a word. Hakusema neno. He just did. He yeah, alifanya tu. And everybody jumped up. Kila mtu akaluka juu. They were amening the man. Wakaanza kusema amina. We amen the word not the man. Tuna uh, tunasema amina kwa neno sio kwa mtu. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The title of my message is Na kichwa cha somo langu ni The only difference between the two groups. Tofauti iliyokuwepo kati ya haya makundi mawili. The five wise wenye w- wenye busara watano na wapumbavu watano. Was ilikuwa ni was what? Ilikuwa ni kitu gani? Ndugu yangu hapa tuko naye sambamba. The only difference between the two. Ameshajua tofauti ya makundi mawili. It was the oil. Yalikuwa ni mafuta. That's my subject for today. Na hilo ndio somo langu la leo. The only difference between Tofauti kati ya makundi mawili was the oil. Ni mafuta tu. Message the 10 virgins and the 144,000. Katika ujumbe wa wanawali 10 na 144,000. Rabbana me saying. Bwana mwanasema Now watch these two churches. Sasa yaangalieni haya makanisa mawili. Can I say it again? Naweza nirudie tena. Sasa yaangalieni haya makanisa mawili. Now when Benham spoke on this. Ndugu Benham alipozungumza hili jambo. He was deeply concerned. Alikuwa na usikanalo kikamilifu. Anasikia anasema. Anasema, "Hey! If I could kama ningeweza. If there was some way. Kama ungekuwa kuna namna. I could just make you people see. Ningewafanya nyinyi watu mlione hili." Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He says it just burns in my soul. Hili linawaka moto kwenye nafsi yangu. Can you sense the the urgency the concern? Unaona uhusika huo ambao ilikuwa ni muhimu. He says anasema these churches. Anasema haya makanisa yote. The one is just as clean and as, as holy as this one. Lingine ni takatifu kama lilivyo la kwanza. In other words. Kwa maneno mengine. The five foolish virgins. Wana wali wapumbavu watano. Were just as pure. Walikuwa ni wasafi. As clean. Wat, wat, wasafi. As holy. Watakatifu. As virtuous. Hawajachafulika. And. Na. They were also walikuwa, expecting walikuwa, the coming. Wanangojea kuja kwa bwana harusi. They were the same. Walikuwa sawa kila kitu. In almost every aspect. Katika kila kitu. He, he continues he says Anadena anasema if they are all virgins kama wote wanaitwa wanawali they are all virgins wote ni wanawali the one group was just as clean as kundi lingine lile lilikuwa safi kama lenzake Here is my message. Na huu ndio ujumbe wangu. Ambapo ndugu Bwana mwanaendelea. He says anasema, the only difference. Sasa tofauti pekee was ilikuwa was the ilikuwa, 
mafuta in the lamb kwenye taa the holy ghost ambayo ni roho mtakatifu let's give the lord a wave hebu tumpungie mungu mkono what asifu. was the only difference hiyo ndio tofauti pekee iliyokuepo the oil in the lamb mafuta kwenye taa the holy ghost ambayo ni roho mtakatifu can we say praise the lord tunaweza kusema bwana yesu asifiwe amen amen the only difference tofauti pekee was the extra oil ni kuwa na mafuta ya ziada in the vessels kwenye vyombo vyetu they were all expecting the bride wote wanamtegemea bwana harusi wote ni wasafi wana maisha masafi they never messed around hawakuojichafua they were morally clean living girls. walikuwa wanaishi maisha ya utaua but the only difference lakini tofauti pekee was ilikuwa ni the oil kukosa mafuta brabenham says the bwana anasema the holy ghost rom takatifu The two groups were identical in every way. Haya makundi mawili yalifanana karibia kila kitu. The only difference, the only tofauti, exception. Tofauti au tofauti pekee iliyokuwa between the two groups was the oil. Kati ya makundi mawili yalikuwa ni kukosa mafuta. Brother Brenham is calling them the two churches. Na ndugu bwana anaita hayo ni makanisa mawili. They were having a lot of things in common. Walikuwa kila kitu kinafanana. There, there was one small difference. Kulikuwa na tofauti moja ndogo. One very small distinction. Ambao ni utofauti mdogo sana. Between the five wise. Kati ya wenye busara watano. The five foolish. Na wenye upumbavu watano. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One difference. Tofauti moja tu. One only difference. Tofauti moja pekee. One small difference. Tofauti moja ndogo sana. The rest were identical. Beng, bila ya hiyo walikuwa sawa. The first very small difference. Tofauti ndogo made a huge mistake. Inakufanya kuleta makosa. And when Brenham preached this. Ndugu Brenham alipohubiri ujumbe. He says, "Oh, I hope you people will get it." Sema naamini watu jamani jinsi mngelipata hii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now let us look at the similarities. Hebu tuangalie jinsi walivyokuwa wanafanana. The same stuff. Wana mambo yale yale. Five, wali, uh, five wise and five foolish. Watano wenye busara, watano wapumbavu. All ten of them were Wote kumi walikuwa virgins. Mabikira. Meaning they were sanctified. Ina maanisha walikuwa wametakaswa. Walikuwa hawajaguswa na mtu. They were pure. Walikuwa ni wasafi. They were clean living ladies. Waliishi maisha matakatifu ya binti. All ten of them. Wote kumi. All ten of them. Wote kumi. Went out to meet the bridegroom. Walitoka kukutana na bwana harusi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can say amen. Mnaweza kusema amina. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. They were all expecting the bride. Watu walikuwa wanamtarajia bwana harusi aje. All ten of them took the lamb. Wote 10 walichukua taa zao. Went out to meet the bride. Wakaenda kukutana na bwana harusi. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Receive I haven't skipped a page. Yet. Yes. Amen. Amen. Five of them were considered wise. Na wale watano walikuwa wenye busara kweli kweli. And five of them were considered foolish. Lakini wale watano walikuwa ni wapumbavu kweli kweli. And I am telling you today. Na nakwambieni leo. You fall either in one group or another. Lazima uwe kwenye kati haya makundi mawili. And we're going to prove you na tutakudhibitishia kwa maandiko kwa nabii anavyosema you will know where you standing utajitambua upo kundi lipi all ten of them were trimming the lamb wote kumi walikuwa wanasafisha taa zao all ten of them heard the midnight cry wote kumi walisikia kelele za Behold, tazama bwana harusi iwaja go out to meet him twende tukamlaki they all heard it wote walisikia all ten of them fell kumi wote walikuwa wamelala Five of them were considered wise. Watano walikuwa na busara kweli kweli. And five of them were considered foolish. Watano walikuwa ni wapumbavu kweli kweli. The reason for this supposition. Sasa, hii sababu ya kuwa na hizo nafasi zao. Why were they labeled foolish? Kwa nini wanaitwa wapumbavu? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were good people, they were Watu wema, watu wa Mungu. They were expecting the bride. Wanamtarajia bwana harusi. Walisikia kelele ya usiku. Behold the bridegroom. Kama bwana harusi waje. But why were they Kwa nini wanaitwa wapulish? Bavu. Amen. Amen. The five wise virgins. Wale wanawali watano wenye busara. Walichukua taa zao. And with the lambs they took oil. Lakini taa zao zilikuwa na mafuta kwenye vyombo. According to the scripture. Kulingana na maandiko. 
So they took hivyo walichukua extra oil. Mafuta ya ziada. I want you to please don't lose me because Tafadhali tusiachane. I am trying to build up to something. Najaribu nijenge tufikie mahali fulani. The Bible didn't mention anything. Biblia haikutaja kitu chochote about vessels with extra oil when the Bible referred to the foolish virgin. Kuhusu vyombo venye mafuta ya ziada ilipokuwa inazungumza kuwa na mafuta. Kuhusu wanawali wapumbavu asante. Amen. Are Amen. Together? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now let's go slowly I Sasa, want you tuliende to taratibu it. mpaka tulipate. They didn't have extra oil. No wonder they ran out of oil. Hawakuwa na mafuta ya ziada na si ajabu waliishiwa. Unaona? Unaona? Yeah, that's why they ran out of oil. Ndio maana waliishiwa. There was no vessels with extra oil. Hawakuwa na vyombo vyenye mafuta ya ziada. No capacity to have. Hawakuwa na uwezo. More than what's needed. Wa kile ambacho zaidi ya kinachohitajika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read a quote. Nitasomea nuku hapa. A quotation that will shock you. Nuku ambayo itakushtua. But let's not for run, let's take it step by step. Hebu tusiende kimbele mbele twende nayo taratibu. It is a fact. Nani halisi? It is crystal clear. Na ina uko wazi kabisa. In this parable that the five wise virgin had enough oil in their possession. Kwamba wale wanawali watano wenye busara walikuwa na mafuta ya kutosha kwenye vyombo vyao. No wonder the foolish virgins came to them. Sio ajabu wale wanawali wa kwamba bwende. We have run out of oil. Sisi tumeshamba mafuta tunaomba mafuta. Are we together sisi? Tuko pamoja watakatifu. They ran out of oil. Walishiwa mafuta wakawaendea wale wengine. Say you you've got much of vessels. Nyinyi mna mafuta mengi tunaomba. Give us some of your. Tunaomba baadhi. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There's so many things brother Benham says sometimes. Kuna mambo mengi ambayo ndugu Benham anasema. Hide simple things. Mungu anaficha vitu kwa uraisi. He hides it in the scripture. Anaficha katikati ya maandiko. Amen. 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 I guess it is safe to say that the five wise virgins had enough oil to last them until the arrival of the bridegroom. Na wazia ni salama sana kusema kwamba wanawali watano walikuwa na mafuta ya kutosha kuweza kumngojea kuja kwa bwana harusi. Amen. Let's give the Lord. Hebu tumpungie Mungu mkono wa sifa. We are in agreement that the wise virgins had enough oil. Tumekubaliana kwamba wanawali wenye busara walikuwa na mafuta ya kutosha kusubiria mpaka ujio wa bwana harusi. That's why we are having a convention here. Ndio maana tunao mkutano hapa. My question to you. Swali langu kwako. To the individual. Kwa kila mmoja binafsi. God doesn't work with groups. Mungu afanye kazi na makundi. God works with individuals. Mungu afanye kazi na mtu binafsi. The question you must ask yourself. Swali ambalo unapaswa ujiulize. Je, have enough oil? Nina mafuta ya kutosha? Until the coming of the bride. Yatakayo fika kufika kwa bwana harusi. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Amen. Amen. The five foolish virgins. Wanawali wapumbavu watano. Out of oil. Waliishiwa mafuta. Before the arrival of the bride. Kabla ya kuja kwa yule bwana harusi. Listen to what Brother Benham says. Kizabadu Brana anasema hapa. In the message 10 virgins and 144. Kwenye ule ujumbe wanawali 10 na 144,000. He says. Anasema That's the kind. Na huo ni mfano the foolish virgins. Wanawali wapumbavu. That's the kind. Huo ndio mfano that misses the rapture. Ambao wa watu watakao ukosa unyakuo. Amen. Amen. Are you that kind that's going to miss the rapture? Wewe ni mfano watakao ukosa unyakuo? God help us. Mungu natusaidie. Then you need to be double sure. Sasa napaswa ujihakikishie maradufu. Lazima ujihakikishie maradufu leo. Usilipeleke kesho. Make sure that you have enough oil. Hakikisha una mafuta ya kutosha. To me the coming bridegroom. Yaweza kukufikia wakati wa kuja kwa bwana harusi. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. You see the five virgins Unaona, with oil in their vessels. Na wali wali watano walikuwa na mafuta kwenye vifaa vyao. They were ready. Walikuwa na utayari. They went into the wedding supper with the bridegroom. Walienda kwenye karamu ya harusi na bwana harusi. What about the foolish virgins? Sasa wapumbali wanawali wapumbavu walikuwa wapi? Walikuwa wapi? Bwana harusi alipofika? 
When the bridegroom arrived, they were running around to the oil merchants to go and buy some oil. They were not there when the bridegroom arrived. They were not ready. They were out there looking for oil. When the bridegroom came, they were all there. The five wise virgins went in with the bridegroom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Amen. Amen. You see the five wise virgins they walk through the open door into the wedding supper when the bridegroom arrives. Question to you is if he comes will you go in? Or will you be out there trying to look for someone. Au utakuwa nje una shughuli za kutafuta mafuta. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. When the bridegroom arrives. Bwana harusi anapowasili. The five wise virgins. Bwana wali watano wenye busara. We're having a feast on the inside of the wedding. Walikuwa na karamu katika ndani ya harusi. And the five foolish virgins. Lakini wale wanawali wapumbavu. When they came. Walipo kuje. They were on the outside. Walikuwa wamefungiwa nje. The Bible says. Bibiria inasema. They were knocking. Walikuwa wakibisha odi. They were not part of the wedding supper. Hawakuwa sehemu ya karamu. They were clean living. Walikuwa wasafi. They were pure ladies. Walikuwa ni mabinti ambao wanajiliwa. Lakini waliukosa. They didn't went in with the bride. Hawakuingia na bwana harusi. When the bridegroom went bwana in with the wise walipokuwa na wanawali wale wenye busara. Walikuwa wamesimama nje. God be merciful. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema. Then why brother Brian was so concerned? Ndio maana ndugu Brian alihusika sana na hili swala. Amen. Amen. God be merciful. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema. Amen. Amen. Oh God grant us grace. Mungu atujalie neema. They were locked out. Walifungiwa nje. They were refused. Walikataliwa kuingia. They, they were told go away from me. Waliambiwa tokeni kwangu siwajui. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But they were clean. Lakini mbona walikuwa wanaishi maisha matakatifu? Mbona walikuwa ni watu wasafi? Mbona walikuwa wanatarajia kuja kwa Kristo? Mbona walikuwa wanataa? They slept. Mbona walilala pamoja? Mbona waliamka pamoja? Lakini ule ukuzo outside. Lakini walikuwa nje. When the bridegroom came. Wakati bwana harusi anawasili. God have mercy on us. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think I've laid the foundation. Nafikiri nimeweka msingi vizuri. I can start preaching. Naweza nikaanza kuhubiri. The availability of oil. Sasa upatikanaji au uwepo wa mafuta made the five wise virgins. Uliwafanya wanawali watano wenye busara enjoy the opportunity. Wafurahie fursa to join ya bridegroom. Ungana na bwana harusi at the wedding supper. Katika karamu ya harusi. Because they had oil in their land. Kwa sababu yale mafuti yalikuepo pamoja nao. They joined the bride. Ndivyo wakaungana na bwana harusi. On the other hand, lakini ule upande mwingine, the non availability of oil. Kukosa mafuta. Made the five foolish virgins. Wafanye wanawali wapumbavu watano. Miss the opportunity. Wakose fursa. To join the bride. Ya kuungana na bwana harusi kwenye karamu. The crucial object sasa swala la muhimu kuliko article jambo la msingi vital item kitu cha muhimu kuliko was most definitely the oil ambacho kilikuwa kinaonekana ni mafuta pungie bwana mkono wa sifa leo tunataka kusema amina watakatifu amen amen the five wise virgins walikuwa na mafuta ya kutosha the five foolish virgins wapumbavu watano ni uzuni kusema they had an inadequate supply of hawakuwa na mafuta ya kutosha they ran out of oil walishiwa mafuta amen amen the only difference between the two pekee kati ya makundi mawili was the oil mafuta Amen. Amen. It's oil mafuta. Yeah, mafuta. Mafuta is old man in 
or men in Kule kwetu kusema mafuta unamaanisha mzee. One of the languages in South Africa. Moja ya lugha za Afrika Kusini. Amen. The only difference was mafuta. Tofauti ilikuwa ni oil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They had all other things in Mambo mengine yote yalikuwa wanayo sawa. But when you set them in front of you. Lakini ukiwaweka mbele zako. Mwingine ana mafuta ya kutosha. Huyu ana mafuta machache sana. Hata yakaisha. Hicho ndicho tumekisoma kwenye maandiko. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel like preaching now. Najisikia kuhubiri sasa. I begin to feel brother. Naanza kujisikia ndugu na dada Amina. Oh God give us grace. Mungu atupe rehema. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Benham says. Ndugu Benham anasema. Of the Holy Ghost. Mafuta hunena habari ya Roho Mtakatifu. Oil speaks of the Holy Ghost. Mafuta hunena habari ya Roho Mtakatifu. Five very enough Holy Ghost. Watano walikuwa na Roho Mtakatifu wa kutosha. Wengine have enough Holy Ghost. Hawakuwa na Roho Mtakatifu wa kutosha. God help us. Mungu atusaidie. You better make sure. Lazima uhakikishe. You have enough oil. Kwamba una mafuta ya kutosha. For the coming of the Lord. Kabla ya kuja kwa Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen in the fourth seal brother Benham is saying this. Kwenye muri wa 4 ndugu Branham anasema hili. He says the oil. Anasema mafuta always symbolizes the Holy Spirit. Kila wakati amewakilisha Like the foolish virgins. Kama wanawali wa pumbavu. With no oil. Ambao walikuwa na mafuta. Wise virgins. Wanawali watano walikuwa na mafuta. Which is the Holy Spirit. Ambayo mafuta ni Roho Mtakatifu. Question and answers. Kwenye maswali na majibu. Genesis it says now. Juu ya mwanzo anasema sasa. Now what? Angalia. All ten of them were sanctified. Wote kumi walitakaswa. But five didn't have any oil in their lamp. Lakini watano walikuwa na mafuta yoyote kwenye taa zao. And five had oil in their lamp. Na watano walikuwa na mafuta kwenye taa. Is that right? Je, hiyo ni sahihi? What does oil represent? Mafuta yanawakilisha nini? Listen to this. Sikiliza hii. Mungu atusaidie. What does oil represent? Mafuta yanawakilisha nini? Remember says the only difference was the oil. Tof, kumbuka nabii anasema tofauti He pekee ni mafuta. What does the oil Sasa, represent? Sasa mafuta yanawakilisha kitu gani? It does not represent purity. Haiwakilishi usafi. It doesn't represent virginity. Haiwakilishi ubikira. He says oil represents the Holy Spirit. Anasema mafuta yanawakilisha Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Oil represents the Holy Ghost. Mafuta yanawakilisha Roho Mtakatifu. Purity. Sio usafi. Not clean loving. Sio kuishi maisha masafi. It represents the Holy Spirit. Yanawakilisha Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The oil mafuta parable katika mfano unena habari ya Roho Mtakatifu. Now something very said in this parable. Sasa kitu fulani cha uzuni kwenye huu mfano. Did you know that the five foolish virgins? Je, umewahi kujua kwamba wanawali wa pumbavu watano? Listen closely. Sikiliza kwa ukaribu. The five foolish virgins. Wanawali watano wa pumbavu. Had, had just enough mafuta. Walikuwa na oil ya kutosha. Just enough Holy Ghost. Yale yanayotakiwa tu to miss the wedding supper. Ya ku, ya, yani yanaishia karabu inapoanza. Hallelujah. Amen. It said, anasema, it said, anasema just enough to miss it. Ya kuishia karabu inapoanza. Amen. Amen. Just enough. Yanaishia to make it for the tribulation. Idhiki kutu, yanamvusha dhiki kutu basi. Remember where were they when the wedding supper was going on? Kumbuka, walikuwa wapi wakati karamu inaendelea? They was outside the door. Walikuwa nje ya mlango. Trying to get in. Wanajaribu kuingia. Are we together? Praise the Lord. The foolish virgin made the shocking discovery Na. when they were busy trimming their lamps. Wanawali wa pumbavu walifanya mshtuko mkubwa pale ambapo walikuwa wanasafisha taa zao. When they were busy trimming their lamps. Wako busy wanasafisha chembe zile. Wanaangalia mafuta. Chudogo. Na hata yale madogo yakakauka. Sasa tatizo ndipo likaanza. We need to get oil. Tunahitaji mafuta. So we better start, start asking the wise virgin. Anza kuwaomba wanawali wenye busara sasa. God have mercy. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise is wonderful. Nibarikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Now saints, sasa watakatifu. The essence of this parable. Sasa maana ya huu mfano. 
The very essence of the parable of the ten virgins was a case of having enough oil Mane to umfano, make it to the wedding supper. Wanawali watano kuwa na mafuta ni kuhakikisha kwamba yanafika mpaka kwenye karamu. Before the coming of the bridegroom. Na sio tu yanaishia kuja kwa bwana harusi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are together saints. Tunataka tulipate vizuri. Hallelujah. Amen. Now brother sister amen. Ndugu dada sasa amina. The bridegroom is coming very Yes Kristo bwana harusi wetu yuaje karibuni. Do you do you have enough oil? Je, una mafuta ya kutosha kwenye taa zenu? Do you have enough mafuta to meet the coming bridegroom? Je, una oil ya kutosha mpaka kuja kwa bwana Yesu? Do you have enough Holy Ghost? Je, una roho mtakatifu wa kutosha to meet the coming bridegroom? Ana kufikisha kuja kwa bwana Yesu? Amen. Amen. Oh praise is wonderful. Oh, jina lake la ajabu. Now I'm bringing it home because now we're going to speak to Sasa nimefika nyumbani kwa sababu tunataka kuongea ana kwa ana. In the oneness message. Katika ujumbe wa ule umoja. This is what Dr. Benham is saying. Hichi ndicho ndugu Branham anachosema. Now I'm talking to message believers. Sasa ninazungumza na waamini wa ujumbe huu. Dr. Benham says. Dr. Branham anasema. Listen to this. Sikiliza hili. He says I am persuaded. Mimi nimeshawishika that many of us. Kwamba wengi wetu. Amen. Amen. Friends, marafiki, many of us, wengi wetu, sitting here, walio ka hapa, listening to my voice. Wana usikilize sauti yangu. Says I am convinced. Mimi nimeshawishika. Nimeamini kabisa. Wengi wetu, have received wamempokea the Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu. Amen. But lakini we just receive enough lakini tuwapasa kupokea Roho Mtakatifu wa kutosha. Sasa hapa ndo tatizo lilipo. Wengi wamepokea. Tumempokea Roho Mtakatifu. Lakini tunapokea kiasi tu. Enough to make us to a place where we don't Kiasi tu atufanye tusiseme uongo. Kiasi tu na hakikisha leo usisemi uongo na hakikisha siidi na hakikisha sidanganyi Roho mtakatifu kiasi 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 Lakini hicho sicho Mungu anachotaka kiasi Anataka wana oil ya kutosha Haleluya I hope you gonna get it Sami nimelipata hilo tatizo Mungu anataka kujaze sana sana na Roho mtakatifu Amen. Amen. God wants to fill every fiber. Mungu anataka ajaze kila mshipa wa ile kanisa. With the Holy Ghost. Na Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just want enough. Wewe unataka kiasi. God wants to give. Mungu anataka afurike. Afurike kila mahali. Amen. With the Holy Ghost. Kanisa lote lijazwe Roho Mtakatifu. Oh God help us. Mungu atusaidie. He says here. Anasema hapa. He wants to fill your thinking. Anataka Roho Mtakatifu afurike fikra zako. He wants to fill your thinking. Anataka afurike fikra zako. He wants to fill your mind. Anataka afurike kwenye ufahamu wako. He wants to fill every bit of you. Anataka kila chembe chembe yako ifurike Roho Mtakatifu. Making you totally completely dead to the things of the world. Akufanye uwe umekufa kabisa kikamilifu kwa mambo ya dunia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just so surrender to God. Yaani mtu aliyejitoa kikamilifu kabisa kwa Bwana. Tell his word mpaka neno lake is just living through you. Nilinaishi kupitia wewe. Can we give the Lord away for? Unaweza kumpungia bwana mkono wa sifa. Unaweza ukasema bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. I don't just want a little bit. Sitaki tu Roho Mtakatifu kiasi. I want my thinking to be full. Nataka kufikira zangu zijazwe na Roho Mtakatifu. I want my whole being to be full. Nataka utu wangu wote ufurike Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God help us. Mungu anatusaidie. Hallelujah. Haleluya. Amen. Amen. We just want so much. Tunataka Roho Mtakatifu kiasi. God wants to give. Mungu anataka tufurike. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise is one of name. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God give us grace. Mungu atujalie neema. You see God is holding a total different viewpoint. Unaona hapa Mungu anatuletea utofauti kabisa mkamilifu. You are happy with just a little bit. Wewe unafurahia kuwa na Roho Mtakatifu kiasi. 
But God says, Nana. Lakini Mungu anasema sio huyo. These people are living in the end time. Hao watu wanaishi wakati wa mwisho. They are living in the most deceitful. Wanaishi kizazi chenye kikiovu kuliko vyote. An age that has put me on the outside. Kizazi ambacho kimenitupa nje. I'm knocking trying. Mimi ndiye nabii shahodi kuingia kwa moyo wa mtu. Amen. Amen. They need more. Wanahitaji kufurika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I mean there's a little song that says Kuna wimbo mdogo unasema Spirit of God move Roho Mungu tembea Write your word in my heart Andika neno lako moyoni mwangu Fill my whole being Ujaze utu wangu wote Consume my life Uchukue maisha yangu yote Spirit of God Roho Mungu tembea An empty vessel I want to be Nataka niwe chombo kisichokuwa na kitu So that you can come Lord Ili wewe uje uchukue nafasi And fill me Na unijaze bwana Not so much brother. Sio sio roho kiasi. I want the way God wants to give it he wants to fill my heart. Mungu anataka kujaza mwili wangu wote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Barikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Oh yes, a, a couple of very important things. Sasa hapa kuna mambo mengi ambayo ni ya msingi sana. What are you going to say there? Utaenda kusema nini ndugu? We look at that Scripture verse Tukiangalia lile andiko 10 were expecting the coming Wote 10 wanatarajia ule ujio Ten were expecting to go into the wedding Wote 10 wanatarajia ile kalamu But only 5 Lakini watano tu entered in Walifanikisha Now listen to this quotation the Sikiliza reaction, reaction to an action Eh sikiliza katika inukuu ambayo katika ujumbe mwitukio kwa kitendo says you know that Dubana anasema unajua kwamba No one will be in the rapture Haku, without the holy ghost hakuna atakaye kuwa kwenye unyakuo bila ya kuwa na roho mtakatifu if you are sitting here and you are expecting the rapture you are expecting the rapture unataka unatarajia kuja kuliwa you are not going to make it this is the prophecy you are not going to make it without the holy ghost bila ya roho mtakatifu haleluya haleluya Brother Benham says no one is going to make it to Ndugu Benham anasema hakuna atakaye nyakuliwa bila ya kuwa na Roho Mtakatifu. There will be the sleeping virgin. Anasema hapo watakuepo na wali waliolala. Amen. Amen. Some folks will be running around trying to get some oil. Baadhi ya marafiki watakao kikimbia huko na kutafuta mafuta from uh, the oil merchants. Kutoka kwa wauza mafuta. Brother sister. Ndugu dada, trim your lambs. Safisheni tazeni. And make sure that there is Alafu, enough oil. Hakikisha kuna mafuta mengi. Don't be found wanting. Usikutanike usi unahangaika na swala la mafuta. Usishiwe na mafuta wakati anashuka. When the, the cry went out behold the bridegroom coming. Kilio kilipopia kelele tazama bwana harusi anakuja. It will be too late. Ilikuwa imeshachelewa. You need to have enough oil. Lazima uwe na mafuta ya kutosha mapema. Go with the bridegroom into the rapture. Ili uondoke na bwana harusi kwenye unyakuo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Message the mark of the beast. Katika ujumbe ile alama ya mnyama. Brother Brennan is saying. Brennan anasema. And remember. Nakumbuka. The very time that the sleeping virgin went to buy oil. Wakati wana wale waliolala walienda kutafuta mafuta waliosinzia. That's when the bridegroom came. Hapo hapo ndipo bwana harusi akashuka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh I, I I just hope people you are seeing it. Naamini watu mnaliona hili. Amen. 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 Says, that's when the bridegroom came. Wakati huo huo wanapoangaika yeye akaja. Mafuta. Don't you see it? Je, mlioni? If the best Presbyterians. Kama hao Presbyteri Episcopalian. Na Episcopalian and those others. Na wale wengine wote. Are come seeking for the Holy Ghost. Wanakuja kutafuta Roho Mtakatifu. You better get your land trimmed. Ni bora usafishe taa yako sasa. Amen. Amen. Trimmed. Isafishe. Trimmed. Iwe imesafishwa. Yes. Ndio. It needs trimming. Inahitaji usafisho. Pentecost. Pentecost. And also you message. Na ninyi waamini wa ujumbe. Amen. 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 Get a lot of this world cut away from you. Achana na huu ulimwengu unaofuatana na wewe. You done got corroded over. Tayari umeshajawa masizi. Your week is in bad shape. Na eh, eh, katika uko katika hali isiyovutia. Rise up. Amka. Trim your lens. Safisha taa yako. Message believers. Mwaminia wa ujumbe. Trim of the world. Toa ulimwengu. Amen. Amen. Trim away the fashions of Ondoa the world. Ondoa mitindo ya dunia. Trim of the things of the world. Achana na mambo ya dunia. Get ready. Kuwa tayari. The hour is at hand. Wakati umefika. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
the lesson in this parable is. Sasa somo katika eh hii mfano katika hili somo ni nini? Mfano katika huu somo ni nini? Make very sure that you get the Holy Ghost. Hakikisha umempata Roho Mtakatifu. Kabla ya kuja of the bridegroom. Kwa Bwana harusi. Hallelujah. Amen. Now after all these quotes that I've shared we should get to a point baada ya kushirikiana hizi nikuu tufikie mahali ambapo that one kwa nini you need mafuta unahitaji roho mtakatifu i mean oil enough oil mafuta ya kutosha amen amen brother sister amen ndugu dada amina only those only those with the extra oil ni wale waliona mafuta ya ziada went in with the bride walifanikisha kuingia na bwana harusi the ones without wale ambao hawakuwa na mafuta had all the good qualities walikuwa na sifa zote njema but they missed it lakini walikosa kunyakuliwa there's a quote to this effect kuna ukweli ambao unukuu ya ukweli ambao inasema think it's somewhere in the seals ipo kwenye mihuri nafikiri bwana anasema if there's any among you kama yuko mmoja kati yenu who has not been baptized in christian baptism ambaye hajabatizwa katika ubatizo wa kikristo in the name of the lord jesus katika jina la bwana yesu kristo he says run to the nearest pool anasema kimbilia maji yaliyo karibu na wewe get baptized in jesus na ubatizwe katika jina la yesu kristo hallelujah hallelujah he says if there's any among you anasema kama yuko mmoja wenu who have not received the baptism of the holy ghost ambaye hajapokea ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu He says go on your knees. Anasema rudi magotini pako. He says stay there. Na ukae hapo. Until you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Baka ujazwe na roho wa kutosha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not here to play church. Hatupo hapa kucheza na kanisa. We are here to make ready for his coming. Tupo hapa kuujilia kuja kwake. And this much oil won't make it. Na je, mafuta ya machache yatatosha? We have enough oil. Tunahitaji mafuta ya kutosha in order to enter in. Ili tuweze kuingia naye. Praise the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Amen. Amen. In the message speak to the rock. Katika ule mjumbe nena na mwamba. He says and I want you in the name of Anasema ninawaonyeni katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Get in the kingdom of God. Ingieni kwenye ufalme sasa. Amen. Amen. That's right. Hiyo ni sahihi. Don't you fool about it. Msifanyie mzaa jambo hili. What Brother Benham says. Sikiza ndugu Brother Benham says you press in. Jisokomeze. Oh. Oh. God have mercy. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema. He says because there's a time coming. Sababu anasema kwa sababu kuna wakati unakuja a time that you will scream. Wakati ambapo utalia. Utapiga kelele na kulia. To receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Upate ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. But it will be shut off. Lakini itakuwa imefungiwa kwako. What are you saying brother Roy? Unasema nini ndugu Roy? Je, utakuja huu wakati ambapo utatambua kumbe sina Roho Mtakatifu. Alafu utapiga kelele. Utalia. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu amefungiwa. Umeshachelewa kwa ajili yake. Kama unahitaji Roho Mtakatifu, ni bora umpate sasa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cry now. Lia sasa. Scream now. Upige kelele sasa. Jisokomeze sasa. Siku moja it will be too late. Utakuwa umeshachelewa. Amen. Amen. You just happy you've got your name on a church book. Wewe unasema mbona nimejiandikisha katika kanisa? You need more than that. Unahitaji zaidi ya kujiandikisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Enough of the Holy Ghost. Unahitaji Roho Mtakatifu kiasi cha kutosha. Isn't that what Brother Benham says in the Oneness message? Sicho cha mbele ndugu Benham anasema katika ujumbe wa umoja. You just want enough. Wewe unamtaka wa kutosha. To stop you from doing the wrong thing. Yaani unataka kiasi ya kuzuia kufanya mambo maovu. God wants you to have so. Mungu anataka akufurike. Until your thinking is. Mpaka hata mawazo yako yote yawe ni yeye. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was saying when uh Pastor Temu was mentioning the story of Barry Robinson. Na na nilisikia mchungaji Temu alikuwa anaongea habari ya ndugu Robinson. I said no then I'm talking about the right thing. Nikasema ah anazungumza kitu sahihi. Now Barry Robinson was a Negro guy. Eh huyu Robinson alikuwa ni mtu mweusi. 
Receiving the Holy Ghost was such a serious issue. Swala la kupokea Roho Mtakatifu ni swala la muhimu mno. It was such a it was a burning issue. Lilikuwa ni swala linaloumiza. It was a matter of concern. Lilikuwa ni swala la kuhusika nalo kikamilifu. I'm ready to die. Lazima nimpate au nife. I must embrace the Holy Ghost. Lazima nimkumbatie Roho Mtakatifu. God must fill me with Mungu lazima anijaze na Roho Mtakatifu. Just a little bit. Sio anipe kidogo. So much until I anifurike na Roho. Mpaka ni ajaye afurike. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Buddy Robinson fell on his knees. Lakini Robinson alikaa kwenye magoti yake. In the middle of a cornfield. Akiwa katikati ya shamba la mahindi. And he started praying. Ndipo akaanza kuomba. Now these things were not just shared to keep us occupied. Sasa haya mambo hayaku hatujaambiwa yatufanye tu tuyajue. The story of Buddy, Buddy Robinson is to apply to your own life. Habari ya, ya Buddy Robinson inatakiwa iwe kwako. The man realized. Na lazima utambue. I am lost without the Holy Ghost. Nimepotea kama sina Roho Mtakatifu. I need the Holy Ghost. Namhitaji Roho Mtakatifu. I need a, a lot of the Holy Ghost. Ninahitaji Roho Mtakatifu wa kufurika. He fell on his knees. Na akaanguka migogoro magoti ni pake. He started screaming. Akaanza kupiga kelele. He started screaming. Akaanza kupiga kelele. He started crying. Alianza kulia. No. Bwana, give me. Nijarie the Holy Ghost. Kumpata Roho Mtakatifu. His, his mind was made up. Na akafikiria. Lord, if you don't give me the Holy Ghost. Bwana, kama mimi au nijarie kupata Roho Mtakatifu says when you come back Amen. 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 When you come back to the earth. Utakaporudi kwenye hii dunia. Akisema hapa hapa nilipopiga magoti. Utakutana tu na rundu la mifupa yangu. What was he saying? Alikuwa anamaanisha nini? He says God you better give me the Holy Ghost. Bwana ni bora unipe Roho Mtakatifu. I'll die here. Nitakufa hapa hapa. I will not give up. Siondoki hapa. I'm looking for the Holy Ghost. Nataka Roho Mtakatifu. And I will not stop. Na sitaacha kuomba. Tell you Baka unibatize na Roho Mtakatifu. Unijaze sasa. Au nitakufa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Alikiwe Bwana. Benham says you've got to mean it. Dukana anasema lazima umaanishe. It reminds me of of Jacob. Na Jacob. Yakobo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wrestled with the angel. Ali pigana mweleka na yule malaika. Amen. Amen. The angel said, "Hey Jacob, it's time, sema, hey, Yakobo, it's time for you wakati, to meet me." Ni wakati wa kuniacha, wakati wa kuniacha. He says, "Akasema, day is busy breaking." Am um, siku inakuchwa. He was praying all the time. Alikuwa anapambana usiku wote. Not giving up. Haja kata tamaa. He wanted the Holy Ghost. Alimtaka Roho Mtakatifu. He wanted to be filled. Alitaka ajazo vya kutosha. With God's Holy Spirit. Na Roho Mtakatifu and he was prepared to give up na alikuwa ajajiandaa ambe amejiandaa kutoka huku kukata tamaa until paka aka mkawa mshindi praise the lord amen i'm going to ask you a simple question nitaulizeni jambo jepesi Labda nitafunga tu muda si wa dakika nyingi Katika kwenye maswali na majibu. Kuna mtu alimuuliza nabii. Roho Mtakatifu ni nini? Je, una wazo lolote jibu la lake lilikuwaje? Je, kuna mtu anataka atumie fursa kujibu? The question was Swali ilikuwa What is the Holy Ghost? Roho Mtakatifu ni nini? Hallelujah. I don't think you are ready for this one. Sidhani kama mko tayari kujibu hili. Let me read the quotation. Labda niisome hii nuku. And then we're going to close with a couple of few remarks. Labda tutamalizia na maoni machache. The question was what is the Holy Swali lilikuwa Roho Mtakatifu ni kitu gani? Unataka kujua jibu lilikuwa ni kitu gani? Bwana anasema. And we find out nasi tumeona kwamba Roho Mtakatifu ni Mungu mwenyewe in you. akiwa ndani yako. Haleluya. Haleluya. God himself Mungu mwenyewe in you akiwa ndani yako. Haleluya. Haleluya. Oh we just thought he's the second or third person of the Trinity. No. Ah, Tumeambiwa ni Father of God says he's God himself in you. Sio Mungu yule Mungu Baba hapana Mungu akiwa ndani yako. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God be merciful. Mungu we mwingi wa rehema. The Holy Ghost is God himself. Roho mtakatifu ni Mungu mwenyewe akiwa ndani ya mtu. Amen. Amen. Listen to this quotation. Sikiliza hii nuku. Amen. Amen. Now the question is. Swali ni. Brother Benham says. Brother Benham anasema. You see the Catholics call Mary the mother of God. Wakatoliki wanasema Mariam ni mama wa Mungu. We don't believe that but the Catholics call. Atuamini hivyo lakini wakatoliki ndio wanavumuita. Now Brother Benham. Ndio Brother Benham anasema if God didn't allow the mother of God. <laughs> Kama Mungu hakumruhusu mama wa Mungu to go to heaven. Aende mbinguni with the holy ghost bila ya roho mtakatifu he didn't allow to go to heaven without the holy ghost ha yani ili kwenda mbinguni mariamu ilipaswa naye apate roho mtakatifu do you, do, you, do you think god is going to allow Sasa, you unafikiri mungu atakuruhusu wewe hallelujah hallelujah listen to this quote sikiliza hii nuku if nothing else makes sense to you listen to what brother kama yote haya hajakusaidia sikiliza hicho anachosema what was the holy ghost given roho mtakatifu alitolewa kwa sababu gani amen amen this is what brother benham hicho ndio ndugu bwana anasema hapo Listen to this. Sikiliza hili. Barbenam says. Barbenam anasema. And remember that. Na kumbukeni sasa. It is absolutely now. Hii ni yakini sasa. To you people here. Kwenu watu mliopo hapa. Tanzania. Tanzania. Amen. Amen. Barbenam says. Barbenam anasema. To you people. Kwenu nyinyi watu. It is absolutely essential. Ni muhimu yakinifu. Amen. And necessary nayo ni ya lazima and compelling na inashurutisha and compels na haina mbadala that you kwamba wewe receive upokee roho mtakatifu sasa if you don't na kama umpokei sasa you can't come up in the hautafufuka katika ufufuo hallelujah hallelujah this is no games playing hii sio kucheza mchezo. This is serious. Hili ni jambo la kumaanisha. Buddy Robinson saw the importance. Hivi ndivyo Robinson alivyoona umuhimu wake. Brother Branham is telling us the. Ndugu Branham anatuambia jinsi ilivyo muhimu. Not just a little bit. Usicheze hata kidogo. It was a little bit that the five foolish virgins. Wale wana wali wapumbavu walikuwa na Roho Mtakatifu kidogo that caused them to miss. Hiyo ndio ikawafanya wakose. The wedding supper. Karamu ya moyo ya bwana harusi. Mungu na atusaidie. It is absolutely essential. Ni muhimu sana. Nayo ni ya lazima. Inashurutisha. Haina mbadala. Kwamba lazima umpokee Roho Mtakatifu. Don't put it off. Usizime hiyo. Don't put it off. Usizime hilo swala. For long you have been a church member. Umekuwa mshirika kwa muda. You have been a message believer. Umekuwa mwaminio kwa muda. Without the Holy Ghost. Asiye na Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the time has come. Lakini wasaa umewadi umefika. It is compulsive. Ni haina mbadala. It is compelling. Ni la, inashurutisha. It is absolutely important. Ni muhimu ya kinifu. Every one of us. Kila mmoja wetu. Receive the Holy Ghost. Apokee Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord have mercy. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema. Remember. Mkeni. The difference between the two groups. Tofauti ya yale makundi mawili. The one had just enough to miss the rapture. Wale wengine walikuwa na mafuta ya kutosha kutokukosa unyakuo. The other group had enough to enter with the bridegroom into the Men, Wengine sorry, wengine walikuwa na mafuta ya kuishia kuja kwa bwana harusi, wengine walikuwa na mafuta ya kuondoka na bwana harusi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Naamini labda tutasoma nuku yetu ya mwisho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni kuondoka kwa siri na kwa ghafla kwa kanisa. Bwana anasema Bwana speaks on our time our day and age. Ah nyakati za kale katika watu. And he refers to the ten virgins. Na anazichifananisha na wale wanawali kumi. Bwana anasema wanawali wote kumi walikuwa watu wema sana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Every one of them kila mmoja wao wanawali virgin ni bikira sanctified vessels of God. Vyombo vya Mungu vilivyotakaswa. 
But those who had oil in their lamps Lakini went in. wale tu waliokuwa na mafuta kwenye vyombo vyao walivuka. Are you seeing it? Je, unaliona hili? Those with oil in their lamps went in. Wale waliokuwa na mafuta kwenye taa ndio waliovuka. And the others Na wale wengine was left out. Waliachwa. But they were clean, brother. Lakini walikuwa wasafi. They were sanctified. Walikuwa wametakaswa. They were expecting the coming. Walikuwa wanatarajia kuja kwa Kristo. Yet they were left out. Hata hivyo waliachwa. Amen. Amen. The only difference was the Tofauti pekee ni mafuta. They were all virgins. Wote walikuwa ni wanawali. Kila mmoja. People that you couldn't put a finger on for anything. Hakuna mtu angewanyoshia kidole wanawali wote. They never did anything wrong. Hawakukosea sehemu yoyote. They were living clean and they were living maisha masafi yenye kustahili. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yesu asifiwe. They everyone. Kila mmoja wao believed in the coming of. Waliamini Bwana anakuja. Hallelujah. Waliamini kuja kwa pili kwa Kristo. Amen. Amen. Lakini waliachwa nje. Ndio maana anasema hapa. Walikuwa tayari kwenda kukutana naye. Lakini baadhi yao waliachilia mafuta yao ya kaisha. Nasema isiwe kwako hivyo. Hakikisha una mafuta kwenye taa. Mafuta ni Roho Mtakatifu. Kamwe usikaukiwe mafuta. Sisi tunakuja ibadani Ndugu Bwana mwanasema hatuji ibadani kujiona jinsi tuna nguvu kiasi gani? Tunakuja kanisani kujiona jinsi gani tumepungukiwa? Ili kwamba ah, madhaifu yetu ya upelekezwe mbele za Bwana. Tutaenda kwa Hatutakuwa na mstari wa maombi. Mimi nataka kila mmoja wetu afumbe macho yetu ainamishe vichwa vyetu Sasa tutakuwa na ukimia wa dakika chache Alafu wewe zungumza na Bwana Bwana unanijua Wewe Bwana unanijua mimi Na kama kuna mtu hapa ambaye ni mwaminifu sana kwako wewe mwenyewe Mwambie Bwana niko hapa leo Sina roho mtakatifu kiasi cha kutosha. Atakaye nifikisha karamu ya mwana kondoo. Nasi tunategemea asubuhi hii. Mungu atasikia maombi yako. Kumbukeni nukuni leo wasomeni. Kama bado hujabatizwa kwenye ubatizo wa Kikristo. Kimbilia kwenye maji. If you haven't receive the baptism of the holy ghost stay on your knees until you are certain until you are positive that you've been filled with the holy ghost we're going to just offer a short word of prayer dear is lord jesus The prophet of God says in one of the quotations. He says you better scream now. You better cry out for the Holy Ghost. Because there's going to come a time. When you will scream out. You will cry out. But the Holy Ghost will be withholding from you. Heavenly Father. There's a little song that says Give me oil in my lamb keep me burning Give me oil in my lamb I pray Not just a little bit Lord But so much Lakini mafuta mengi sana Saturate my thinking Kwamba utafurika fikra zangu Hallelujah Hallelujah Praise is wonderful Nibarikiwe jina lake la takatifu Hallelujah Hallelujah Praise the Lord Nibarikiwe bwana Yesu Kristo Amen. Amen.